When man first went into space, it was a landmark for scientists, astronomers, and astronauts. Now we've begun to think of space as somewhere we can all go. Inspired by the moon landings, Hilton came up with plans for a lunar Hilton. These visions are still on the drawing board, but the dream of ordinary people in space is a reality. In 1989, the Shimuzu Corporation of Japan announced the construction of a space hotel. It was predicted at the time that it would cost $28 billion and be ready by 2020. Floating 300 miles above the Earth, the 64-room hotel will accommodate guests for two nights. Each room will have a zero-gravity chamber, allowing guests to experience space just like the real astronauts. But this weekend jaunt won't be cheap. Each shuttle trip costs $450 million. Even converting the shuttle to carry a maximum 74 passengers, one ticket alone would still cost over $6 million. But it is a return ticket, and some people have paid. In May 2001, American businessman Dennis Tito became the first paying space tourist. His 10-day trip to the International Space Station was a snip at 14 million pounds, or 22 million dollars. Holidays in space are not just a trivial pursuit for the super rich, they have a serious purpose too. One day, we'll need to travel long distances in space. These voyages could last many years. Scientists need to know how ordinary people can survive such trips. To test the viability of long-term living in outer space, the Russian space agency established the Mir space station. For 15 years, Mir was home to scientists of a dozen nations. One Russian cosmonaut spent 438 consecutive days on board Mir. We now know that man can live in space without serious side effects. By the year 1000, the average person traveled from place to place on foot, no matter where they lived. By the year 2000, Tourism was the world's biggest industry worth $3.5 trillion a year. The world's first space tourist was in training. By the year 3000, package tours to every planet in our solar system could be the norm. At 7,000 light years away, the Eagle Nebula could be as popular a tourist spot as the Grand Canyon is today. Five million visitors could make the journey every year.